Hey guys, it's Rich from Mowers and Blowers Outdone. Psh. Hey, I'm going to take you on a journey through servicing a lawnmower. Now, if you want to service it for yourself or if you want to service it for profit. So what we're going to be doing is a tune-up on a push mower. So what's a tune-up service include? It includes changing the oil, changing the filter, changing the spark plug, sharpening the blades, and just all overall cleaning and inspection of the lawnmower. All right, let's take a look at the lawnmower we're gonna do the service on today and all the items needed. All right, what do we got? What are we looking at? We are looking at a push mower that needs a service done to it. So we are going to do the service of a tune-up today, and it is your standard uh, Briggs & Stratton 190cc. This one happens to be put on a Troy built. So your typical oil is uh, that I use is 5W30, full synthetic motor oil. I am replacing the spark plug in the tune-up. It's so a RJ19LM. I am replacing the air filter. We have a 13 16 socket, 5 8 socket, typical screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, my uh, safety glasses for sharpening the blades, gloves, and some cleaning solution. So that's what this consists of. So we are going to uh, just take a look at it here. Going to be removing this screw here. This is where your air filter is. So we take that off. We will be taking the oil off. And what you're going to do is, let's see what the oil looks like now. It's not actually too bad. So you do it every year, once a year. And uh, you can, we're just going to tilt this one sideways to drain the oil out. But we're going to let this run for like five minutes to heat up the oil. Now what I all, always do is I take some sea foam, add it down into the oil as it's heating up for five minutes. And then you can add a little bit to the gas, sea foam to the gas. When a customer brings over their equipment I kind of go over it with them you know so to make sure that we are doing what they want done so he wanted a full tune-up blade sharpen oil change filter spark plug all that good stuff in front of the customer I start it up make sure it's running good and then he gives me the go-ahead to do it so now let's take it out into the yard with our oil bucket and drain the oil. All right guys, so we uh, let it run for five minutes and I just bring it out in the yard. So when you have it on the side, it's a good time to uh, come over here, clean this out clean any of this out take the blade off of it all right now let's sharpen the blades so this is what I use uh, most of the time to sharpen blades it doesn't take very much to sharpen a blade people kind of get a little scared about sharpening blades but this little tool is ten dollars or less you can find these and it automatically has a, a nice little angle on it and the flat spot goes underneath the blade and the angle goes on the sharpening side so you attach this to your your common household drill and just spin it like that go across the blade and it really doesn't take that much now if you're missing chunks and hunks out of your blade just go get a new blade. That's you, you don't need to grind off 
a quarter inch, a half inch of blade. I mean, you can you can take them down a little far, but there, there's uh, no reason to uh, do all that. Just go get a new blade. You'll be uh, a lot more satisfied with it instead of monkeying around with the blade trying to get it balanced. So, and then one other thing you do is is to balance the blade. So, uh, just whatever you take off on one side, you take off on the other side. So, they sell balancers. They're like 10 bucks or less. You can balance it on there. And it'll drive you nuts, trust me. Because you'll take some off of one side, it'll lean the other way. You take some off the other side, it leans the other way. So, just do the best you can. Or, what I've done in the past is just put a nail in the wall and hang it up there on the nail and watch it balance. So you don't even really need to buy a balancer, but it's always good to have one. Lawnmower blades don't need to be a razor sharp. With this pre-built on here, this will do a great job for the average homeowner. Now if you're going to do hundreds of blades and advertise and, and do all that stuff, you might want to get uh, a little more investment. They're about $200. And it's a little guide with a grinder. And you can, you can uh, go through that process. But other than that, for the average homeowner, doing your blades once a year, once maybe twice a season, this is all you need. Hey guys, so here's some final thoughts. You too can fix lawnmowers for fun or profit, or just to service your own and give it a good tune-up. Now, what sets you aside from everybody else when you're doing it for customers is that the shops around here, you bring in a dirty lawnmower, they're going to return a dirty lawnmower to you. They might fix the problem, but your lawnmower is going to look just as bad as when you brought it in. So when you service somebody's lawnmower and give it that little extra touch of cleaning, that'll set you apart. And that will bring in more customers. Now, let's go out there and check out the lawnmower before the customer comes picks it up. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you at the auction. What do we got? What are we looking at? Cleaned and tuned up. So we got our new spark plug there. Got this all nice and washed up. 
Got this all cleaned up. Got our new uh, air filter in there, blade sharpened. And it's ready for action. So you guys, you want to take that little extra step and just to give it that little, little extra cleaning, make it look a little better for the customer. That's all it takes. Now, hope this was informative and just as entertaining.